Sometimes it's the subtleties. Sometimes it's the simplicities. You just have to give a fuck and make it entertaining. And it wasn't just there, man. The ladies, man. Britt Baker and Saraya, formerly known as Paige. I mean, that was... I mean, that kicks off with Soraya saying that I am a hundred, what'd she say? I am a hundred percent cleared. AEW is my house. And she was basically ready to fucking break down in tears when she said it. I, I mean, so fucking epic, man. So epic because I, I was never a big Paige fan, by the way. But it's so epic to see somebody overcome what they thought they would never, ever do again. And you say, well, WWE was protecting her. They didn't want to hurt her anymore. And guys, unfortunately, we've seen too many instances where that's not the case. They put her on the shelf. They always looked at Paige as a liability after a while. And some of that was because of Paige. I will be honest, absolutely, as I always am. To the most amplified of levels, I'm honest. But a lot of that was just WWE. WWE just playing the role of God, whether it's Vince McMahon or Triple H. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. We're seeing H do that all the time as well. You know, and they're just like, nope, you're going to stay right there. I know what you want to do. I know your ambitions. I know doctors have, have said you, you could go. You're going to sit right there. We're doing it for you. No, WWE was doing it for them. They no longer sat, saw value in Paige, so they sat her the fuck out. It's so cool for her to see her own trajectory. Now, it was a release. So would she have just stayed collecting WWE money and been okay on the sidelines? I don't know. It was a release. It's not like she just fucking took off on her own. You know, it would have looked better for optics that way. But I think Paige always had that fire still in her. And I do believe that she wanted more matches in world wrestling entertainment. The bottom line is she shows up. And she doesn't want to just manage. She doesn't want to just be the fucking uh, the, the fiddle in the background. She wants to compete. And she wants to go for the top. Right for fucking Baker. And she says, I'm 100% cleared. AEW is my house. I mean, I, and you see her almost in tears. Even if you're not a Page fan like BC, you, you gotta go, damn. <laughs> That's What a moment, you know? And then she goes right in. And she tells... She tells Britt Baker... You have no, you have no idea. You know, I've been humiliated. I, I've battled addictions in the public. I, I've came back from a broken neck. Um, she just went on and on about her hardships, and there's so many of them. <laughs> Talking about how she she wrestled basically her whole life, only sixteen or seventeen years, like legally or something. You know, how she would pass out flyers to try to wrestle for a meal. And get turned down because she was a woman. I mean, she told so much in this heartfelt promo. And you were just hanging on every word. And then you see Britt Baker just burn it down like she always does. Britt Baker, and I quote. This is just beautiful, man. One of my favorite quotes of 2022 in terms of promos was last night from Britt, Britt, Britt Baker. And I quote, Baker tells Paige Soraya. And I quote, I build AEW from the ground up until it became a fortress that wrestlers, no, 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 check that, superstars like you wanted to move into. She said, I build AEW from the ground up until it became a fortress that wrestlers, no, 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 superstars like you wanted to move into. Goosebumps, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Britt Baker is so fucking good. And then Britt Baker delivers an even better line. You ready for this? And I quote from Britt Baker. She tells Soraya this. You left your house and walked into mine. We don't take walk-ins. So bitch, make an appointment. <laughs> you left your house and walked into mine. We don't take walk-ins. So bitch, make an appointment. As if she's talking to somebody at the dentist office. We don't take walk-ins. Make an appointment. Come on, man. Uh, I mean, just straight fire. Open mic night. If Mox didn't do it for you, maybe MJF did. If they both didn't do it for you, maybe Jeff Jarrett and his jabs fucking did something for you. If none of them did it, maybe fucking Soraya did. If they didn't, fucking Britt Baker surely did. 
but it was open mic night. Take your fucking pick. A lot of good, a lot of good fire promos last night.